nyo marathi na mbere na gutagika Neto tige kumanya Neko gie na geikaro Ya thirikali na maligitari Ona korogwe kodo thirikali Kunyi hiya mahudira mabia Yone maligitari Ni maona bia Nigeza mashoke wira Nigeza adwa ito matige ukwa Adwa ni maligire kuthi ya thibitari Tawo kutiri rigitari Nanoko unho nyo nyo jolie Muno 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 makiria Adwa mego ito maragitari Tawo prezen ni lagu itu ni lagu itu Alo iga Mofakule ya alo ya kone ya madali tani Miki nyanderu Na kutiri besha ige Shiga kadir wafuruli. Natur mau mau tu bagi mahir masih jadi tiari. No nyende orang orang itu nau. Makome na koraya umudu. Masuk kebera tu na Roma. Ya kau nama dah nyombu. No hake nama pakai muka. Orang orang next year kalau musik siapa tuan. Bucu mau nawa gira. Mau gira misara. Tuh tiap muter muter tak gira misara. His grace. Mau gitu. On my part as a member of parliament for a tax constituency, I'll call it an economic sabotage. And it's, it's a treasonable offense because whoever are perpetrating that 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 uh, fake fertilizer, they want to take us back to where our people can go and die of hunger. And this government, Kenya Kwanza, when we came to power, we said one of the things we're gonna do is subsidize fertilizer so at least we can be able to increase production, create employment, and, and kick away starvation in this country. And as a result, we found that the issues about uh, the, the, the demonstration on cost of food has disappeared because farmers have been able to produce enough, 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 enough food uh, for everybody and uh, the cost of, of cost of hunger has come down drastically. And therefore, I will urge the branches which are supposed to do investigation. They investigate NCPBA. Then is investigate Kel. Then investigate KBS. Then invest even the Ministry of Agriculture to find out where, who is a culprit? Who brought this uh, fake fertilizer? Who, who bought it? Were there any, any standard of testing this fertilizer? Or they just bought it from, from anywhere? Do they take uh, uh, containers for chemical and other, and other, and other, and other known uh, factories and put uh, substandard products and, and, and masqueraded it, as, masqueraded it as, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a fertilizer? And therefore, for us to be able to go to the bottom of the issue, we have enough uh, investigative bodies, the CID, the ESCC, uh, and I will urge the government so at least we do not sabotage. The people who want to sabotage the, that government prog program are caught and that issue is brought to an end. The Africa based Kale uh, Chemicals Company has been in existence much newer for ma very many years. Yes. Are you surprised that they are being accused of issuing? Uh, Kale Chemicals is a known company for, which has been in for very, very many, many years. And uh, remember, uh, Kale Chemical on one hand can produce good fertilizer. But what happened is that that fertilizer is removed and they take the, 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 the sacks for, chem, for chemicals and some crooks put other funny products. So that, that's why we can't be able to sit down here and pick and, and point to any direction. And that's why we need a very, very thorough, thorough investigation because to me, that is an economic sabotage for this country. And therefore, all the branches we're supposed to do to do investigation are supposed to do that investigation so at least we know where there is that, that, where there is that loophole and that loop can be sealed once and forever. So at least we save God, save God our farmers because as we, if we don't do it, there will be a serious, serious economic uh, a meltdown of this country, especially in agriculture. Uh, on my part, uh, I've heard the cries of, of the residents of Katanga and Kenya in general. Um, I remember when two bulls fight, it's the grass which suffers. And therefore, this issue requires a lot of tolerance. This issue requires a lot of patience. This issue requires a lot of understanding because they are asking for money, but the question is, is that money available? And the, the president said, uh, we may have reached the end of the rope. Kenya, as you noted, and it is there in the, in the media, we spend about 43% on our salaries. That's way beyond uh, what you call the, the, the international accounting standard. We are supposed to spend at least minimum, maximum of 25%. And therefore, we also need to look at the, at the wage bill for this country because we can't be bought to be taxing our people just to pay salaries. We need money for, we need money to make sure to, to develop roads, infrastructure, build hospitals, uh, and do other developmental issues which have value to our people, not necessarily paying salaries. So we need to be very, very careful. I know the pressure where it's coming from is because there's what you call the added taxation. But again, everybody is being taxed. And therefore, uh, they need to be, they need to have a, what you call an incremental uh, salary increment, not getting every, every cent right now, but have a, a well considered um, incremental, incremental 
mental uh, program along the way so at least again both sides can be able to be balanced but again at the same time um, the problem with this kind of strike is that there's what you call uh, the, 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 the avalanche of, of strikes because if, if you increase the salary for interns it means the doctor will not want an increase the doctor will want an increase uh, teachers would like to require an increase so therefore um, it, it, one needs to be very very careful um, and therefore that's why I'm urging the government and also, also the, 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 the the, the, the doctor's association to go slow and relook at things uh, uh, all over. Let the spirit of patriotism uh, take, take effect, and we know that we have a country to, to run and we have a tomorrow to protect for our children. It's a wrong, it's a threat to sack member, uh, the, the staff is a wrong approach. The conversation, the, the conversion should co continue, uh, because even if you sack everybody, where will you get other doctors to replace those ones? Because therefore, it's a it's a statement in a in, it's a hollow statement, uh, and I think it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a high hardness which is not necessary. I think conversation needs to continue, and we have a program whereby we can these people's welfare can be taken care of uh, along the way in the coming in the coming years. Well, it adds more problems to the farmers. Right? We all grew up in this area where coffee factories were giving genuine fertilizers. Now, if a farmer is being given fake fertilizer and then he's being taxed when that fertilizer he has to pay for and cannot help in his production, it's a disgrace. It's a disgrace. And the people, call, people who are concerned with this fertilizer, fake fertilizer, should actually make what you would say a normal call and quit. It's an embarrassment. Do you think there is uh, politics in that? Uh, I don't want to go to the politics. I just want to say if there is fake fertilizer and it has been proven, those are responsible to take responsibility and pave way for others. You cannot deceive subsistence and small scale farmers with fake fertilizer. And that is where the problem is. This government was elected overwhelmingly in this area. Some of us were on the other side and we made it absolutely clear. The point is, people are suffering. The bulk of supporters are suffering. And we need to fix that suffering. It's no longer politics. The issue of doctors and interns is no longer politics. It's an issue of humanity where service has to be provided to the people. The priest here was very clear that more people are dying now because they can't go to government hospitals because there are no services and they cannot afford private hospitals. So people are dying at home. He's given you statistics of how many people died yesterday, how many people died the other day. So let us fix. Secondly, on this issue of taxation, let us be careful about it. In as much as the country needs taxes, it needs to ensure compliance, especially to no more ordinary taxpayers, is almost 100%. In my view, those compliances are 30%, 40%. And because they do not want to reach 100, they are now stretching and broadening to compel a subsistence, small-scale farmer, to pay taxes, it will not work. These are the bottom of the bottom, and we need to be absolutely clear. And this is where people are uniting in anger. Joseph was not there when our Lord died. Day Kiramado Makira Katia Doto Tigane Romudia na Amuruki Uro. Piri Ginaria Adi Miro na Akioneka Ena Murimua Higo. Don't care to a God. No, I'll take one of my two. Much wanted for me. 
I want to tell my friends it was given. Experience same way, after three months, after three days, one time, there was the possibility of communicating with our friends does not close the possibility of us communicating with our friends. Without the warmth of my heart. And so the young man was saying, even me as a priest, they rest in peace. And the young man said, You know, I want to tell you that whether they took good care whether they took good care me to work on you till you become a vessel that can contain his grace